Welcome to part 6 of the Chateau de Chaumont tutorial. Let's pick up right where we left off. And last time we had just finished putting on ceilings. That means we, got, we of course got another set of floors here. And you know what that means in the Chateau. That's right. We have uh, iron beams and a lot of noggins to install. So we are going to start same place. We did before, same patterning. We're going to start with the exterior walls, scan around clockwise, and then we'll take a look at the interior bit by bit. All right, so uh, right here for uh, yet another balcony on the chateau, we of course have a bit of cobblestone here, and right behind that we have part of a door and a bit of a window and frame there. Bit of door right there. and the detailing for the exterior walls. And here for this level. I mean, this is actually going to be pretty simple. All you're doing is lay down a bunch of andesite there, and a bit more here of the polished and regular variety with a bit of diorite. Now we've got a couple of corbels here, stone corbels, and of course you know what that means. It's another balcony coming up. Right there, and then for this uh, side wing over here, it's pretty simple. It's it's all just polished andesite right on top of the walls. And that brings us back to where we started. So let's go inside. Let's take a look at the detailing for our stairwell. Back here, I've got some stairs and half slabs. Right there, the underside of the stairs. And the wood panel detailing, right there. All right, uh, so back behind that, looking back towards the fountain. Uh, so we can see right here, we have the uh, uh, beams slotting into the walls for the bathrooms. Right there, let's take a closer look. Of course, uh, the spruce here, the half slabs, are our uh, noggin spacers that we have going through there. Right there. One bathroom is pretty much like the the, uh, the next. Just like that. And then behind that we have the hallway. Right there. Wood beams every other block and noggin spacers every other block. Right down the middle. And then behind that we have uh, the iron beams for the next floor. With the wooden beams tying into those and tying into the pockets along the wall. And then all the noggin spacers, four rows of those, right there. All right, over to the left here, the rooms over uh, the library and the guest bedroom and everything. We have two more iron beams, a lot of wooden beams, and five rows of noggin half slab spacers. Right there and then the other room over the dining room and the, uh, the the kids rooms is pretty much the same all right so let's take a good top-down view of the entire section here so a lot of structural work on this part but not too hard nothing you haven't done before so now that we have that out of the way let's go on to the next phase where of course we're going to be putting a nice french uh, fancy french floor over the top of that uh, a couple of half slabs here, though, starting at the front. And then a bit of uh, diorite and andesite detailing, and then some bands of diorite. Although, like I said, if you want to make the chateau a bit more uh, uh, original, then my interpretation here, you would want to replace all this diorite with uh, red bricks. All right, here is the landing for the next balcony. A bit of tough and some upside down and the side stairs around that. And then the exterior wall is here simple. Uh, Dar right right on top of all the polished and the side. That'll bring us back around to the front, so let's uh, open our door. 
and take a look at the detailing inside here for the stairwell first. And you can see we've got uh, spruce and dark oak here to round out the um, patterning for the stairs. Take a look at that from below. All right, let's take a look at our, our bathroom floor here with the glazed terracotta tiles. Like that one, and the other bathroom is just the same, but with a different color of uh, glazed terracotta. All right, now let's take a look at the hallway behind that. You can you can pretty easily see we've got uh, where the walls, the baseboards of the walls are going to be sitting. We've got just a standard spruce planks. But for the part that we see in the middle, we've got the nice uh, parquet design of the flooring. And that's pretty much true for this entire sequence of floors. So back behind that, we have uh, these uh, smaller rooms over top of the master bedroom. We've got the, the little closet and the stairs that go up and I guess what would be like, I don't know, maybe, maybe some, some private rooms or a sewing room or, or, you know, some sort of specialized fancy French room that I don't know the name of. Right above there. And then the side rooms over here, you remember, all these are going to be just, just the same. And of course, where we have the quartz down here, you remember, we have the uh, fireplaces that are be go going to be going in next. And these rooms down here are the same. Just the same. All right, not too bad. Let's go on to the next phase. Take a look. Uh, we've already done the uh, railing there, so we're going to start here. At the door and scan around the exterior. We've got the, we've got, uh, the string course here of upside down uh, stairs. Actually, I think this is going to be end up being the cornice of the building. Right here, it's just, you know upside down stairs all the way around and then just straight cobble uh, cobble behind that and the detailing here for the iron rails on this balcony and then here of course all this andesite is the upside down andesite stairs backed by cobblestone. All right, now let's take a look inside. Still building our stairwell. Although we have, uh, on the last phase, we have finished actually the stairs. This is as high up as this stairwell goes. We have different stairs to access the higher floors, if you remember from the tour. All right, now let's take a look at the detailing for this bathroom here. Along the bottom of the wall, we've got the quartz pillars and everything. And then for this bathroom over here, it's the same sort of detailing. All right, now here in the hallway, we've got four doors down at this end here. One, two, three, four doors. And then along the hallway, for along the baseboards, we've got the strip spruce. And then four more doors down here. Get it? More more, more more doors more door no no all right i'm sorry uh and then down here we've got the detailing for these rooms i probably could have made that wall thinner 
I don't remember why I did. I doubled it up that that way. I think it was because there's different wallpaper in those two rooms. That's probably why. All right, so entering here, we're, you remember we've got our next set of stairs. Uh, I don't know where uh, Dan is going to put the stairs to get get up to the next level. Uh, I thought this was a good spot for them, uh, but I think originally in the chateau over here in the hallway, like right here, they had some sort of weird switchback design where it went up, it turned, and it and it it went up that way, and then it turned. It had a little landing halfway up the hallway, and then went up. Uh, that way. Uh, but, you know, Minecraft, we've only got three blocks in this hallway, and that's really not enough space to put a switchback staircase. I mean, you can see just how much space we needed here for the main staircase, and even if we made it just a couple of blocks, I mean, you know, it's... it's I don't think it'll look very good. So I elected to shove the staircase in here and just take a bit out of this room to uh, have it there. So we can just have a straight shot from here up to the next uh, hallway level. Uh, so here detailing for the fireplaces, some nice uh, uh, iron grills down there at the bottom. Double doors going into here with another, another fireplace. And of course for the floor you've already put that in so you can see just see, you can see the simple detailing. You've got for that level. Uh, so over here we've got the two upper rooms over here. Uh, I've elected to divide these in two. I don't know if they if they were that way originally or if they're going to be that way again, uh, but it made sense to me to divide these rooms up. Right here. And these other two rooms down here are just the same as uh, what we just took a look at. All right, so let's take a look at the entire sequence, and now let's go on to the next phase. All right, exterior first, detailing here for our glass window. Right there, and the windows into the bathrooms. Uh, here we have uh, upside down cobblestone stairs on top of the polished andesite stairs and then just some more polished andesite behind those although I suppose that could probably be cobblestone because I don't think it, that's that's not going to be visible so it doesn't really doesn't really matter how you you want to do that detailing windows along the back here it's associated doorway oh and here we have my favorite part that I've been waiting to get to. It's it's the, it's the watermelon wallpaper. I've been dying to use watermelon as wallpaper for, for quite a few years. Uh, but I never really, I mean, it doesn't fit with the Roman stuff, and I never really managed to work it in. Uh, but I think it's going to work pretty well in the chateau here. I mean, we got to, we already got to use the honeycomb wallpaper too, and I've been dying to do that as well. All right, let's take a look inside the stairwell now. Another little sconce there on the wall. And another one up here at a uh, one block higher level. All right, let's take a look at the hallway now. We got the detailing for the, the, uh, the fancy French uh, wall paneling. The four doors down here. And the detailing for the bathroom. And the other bathroom is just the same, just with the different glazed terracotta colors. All right, now let's move into these rooms down here. Take a look at our staircase. Detailing for the fireplace, and of course, go ahead and start pasting the watermelon wallpaper all over our walls in here. Very bright and cheery uh, wallpapered room, I think. 
Even the even the closet's got watermelon wallpaper in it. Uh, but over here in this little room, I decided to uh, uh, um, do something a bit more plain. And we've got the carved, uh, it's just a carved oak, uh, dripped oak on their sides here. And this little room. Uh, so moving down here, let's take a look at the detailing. For the two uh, upper uh, guest rooms. Or just spare rooms. Or perhaps this is where the servants live. Room for the butler, room for the maid, room for the nanny, and a room for, uh, uh, I guess, the butler's assistant. Although, I mean, there's a lot of room for beds in here, so you could cram more than four people into these rooms. I assume they wouldn't all have their own rooms. All right, so you can see we've just got the simple detailing of the, uh, the dark oak planks on the wall with the stripped... Uh, spruce here, and of course we had these little half slabs um, for the uh, windows. The, the the you remember the big dormer windows we're going to be putting in in the top of the mansard roof. And uh, the, these rooms are just mirror images of each other, by the way. I want you to do one of those. The the other one's just mirrored image, and the other two down here are just the same as what we do uh, as uh, what we just built. So, let's go on to the next phase. Exterior, detailing here for the window. Right there. And we'll just scan around the exterior. Now we've got the first level of our mansard roof already with the deep slate tiles and the, uh, the heavily ornamented uh, uh, window frames. As you would expect in any good uh, self-respecting fancy French chateau, we've got to have the ornamented roof uh, window frames around the mansard roof and everything. Everything has to be very fancy. And of course, here these walls continue on upwards to another level before we put a uh, another smaller mansard on top of that. All right, there's the door onto our balcony and the next section of the mansard roof. And both of these, uh, both these mansards are symmetrical to each other, by the way. So once you do one of them, the other is just the same. But just for the sake of completeness, I'm just going to scan around it anyway. All right, uh, next level. Right there. Take a look at the detailing inside our stairwell. We're going to be finishing off the stairwell today, though, I think. Pretty sure we're going to get high enough to do that. And then a couple of trap doors there. And then the detailing along the hallway with, of course, some more sconces on the walls. The detailing for the four doors down at this end. And the same detailing for the four more doors down at this end. And when you're done, you can you can simply walk through them. No, no, no. no? Oh, all right, sorry. No additional charge for the bad jokes. Uh, so here, detailing for the bathrooms. Right here, and for their sconces on their walls. Uh, let's move into the watermelon wallpaper room again. Take a look here at the stairs. Let's uh, take a quick look under there in our little closet. 
This is where Harry Potter lives in the chateau. Under the stairs. Detailing for the fireplaces. And let's move through the double doors into this smaller room. With the uh, stripped oak paneling. All right, and then these rooms down here. The uh, the four identical guest rooms. So once you do one quarter of these, the, of course the others are going to be just the same. Fireplaces and everything. Okay, that one's gonna be just the same. And the two back down on this end are just the same. All right, let's move on to the next phase. Take a pass around the exterior first. Uh, a little bit more detailing for our big window we've got up here. And the bathroom windows and all of the windows and the fancy French uh, window frames around the, the, the mansard roof. Right, that's the exterior. Now let's move inside. We just pretty much got the walls in here with the paneling to do for our stairwell. And then we've got some little decorative arches right here. I decided to install two of those along the hallway. Let's take a look at the de uh, detailing along the hallway. Same sort of arch detailing back here for our doors. And for the second set of doors down here. All right, detailing for the bathroom. Right here, let's land, take a look. We got a little archway over the door, quartz stairs, and a slab. And the other bathroom is going to be just the same as that one. All right, now let's move into the uh, watermelon wallpaper room. I'm enjoying saying watermelon wallpaper, by the way. Let's... And detailing inside our closet. And, oh, I didn't realize that. These, these actually, those don't connect to the watermelon wallpaper. Oh well, let's just let's just leave it there anyway. What if uh, what would a would a fence connect? I'm just curious. No, huh? Well, how about that? All right. Well, well, no, no, note to self, you know, watermelon wallpaper doesn't doesn't always work for everything. There's a joke there somewhere, but I don't. It, it escapes me at the moment. I'm sure I'll think of it later, and then I'll be like, why didn't you say, you know. All right, detailing here over the door, real quick. Now let's go through the double doors into our oak-paneled room. With the uh, sconces that do connect to the wall. All right, and then the simple detailing in here for these uh, four top rooms. 
underneath our mansard. And then once you do one of those, the other room is just a mirror image of that. And then the other two rooms down here are just the same. All right, let's go on to the next phase. Got an archway now. We're building, sort of getting ready to cap off this window. And some arches over the uh, bathroom windows as well. Well, you know, Minecraft, two, two stairs together in, in two blocks. That's, that's, that's as good as we can do for an arch. All right, that's half. Let's take a look at the next half. All right, that brings us around to the stairwell. So let's go inside and take a look at the detailing in here. It's just all stripped, uh, strip spruce, really. Pretty simple. Down in there, and for the hallway, same sort of detailing. Just capping it all off with strip spruce, just like that. And then the uh, watermelon wallpaper rooms back here is uh, just the same, except uh, we placed um, we placed all the watermelon wallpaper, so it's just all strip spruce here on our stairwells. And around the top of the room, same sort of detailing in here for the oak uh, paneled room. And, uh, oh, I missed the bathrooms. Uh, and, uh, and the bathrooms are, are finishing off just like they started with the uh, quartz pillars just uh, straight up there. And, of course, the other bathroom is just the same in its detailing. Uh, all right, so down here, let's take a look. So we've got more strip spruce here to cap off these wall panels for the four upper rooms. Right there. Of course, once you do one of those, the other one is just the same. And so are the two back on this end. All right, let's go on to the next phase where we're putting on a lot of ceilings now. Up uh, uh, exterior first. Got our keystone there with a bit of diorite. Right there, these walls continue up. But over here, of course, we have been building the mansard roof, which is going back a block now. The march is back here to start finishing off these windows and doors. All right, and now let's actually, uh, uh, well, let's first take a good top-down view, talk about what we're going to be doing. So you can see in here we've got just some very simple designs for the ceiling. I think uh, most of that is going to be uh, the, the spruce around the uh, edges here. I, this, actually, I think that's dark oak. Is going to be, I think, stairs, and then the rest of it is going to be uh, uh, spruce and dark oak half slabs for those runes, but let's take a look at the entire sequence from above, and then maybe a little close in. 
right here. There and there. And then we'll take a look at each of these rooms individually from below. So let's land and uh, use one of our balconies. Oh. Right here, go up our stairs. So we're finishing off the ceiling in here. You can see we've got the upside down spruce stairs, big square. And then we've got the oak, uh, oh, no, uh, spruce half slabs, and then dark oak half slabs, and then three spruce half slabs. Right there, the hallway is pretty much just the same as that. Uh, the side rooms here, once you do one of these, the others are just the same. We've only got a little bit of detailing here for the window frames, right there. And let's take, just take a look at the other room in here. You can see it's just the same, same detailing for the window frames in here and the other two, and the other two rooms on the other end of the chateau. Um, bathrooms. Upside down court stairs and then just some half slabs right across there. Both bathrooms are going to be just the same in their ceilings. Uh, and once you have done that, that's going to be the end of the bathrooms. They are all finished, so you can, you know, you can install some fixtures in there and relieve yourself if necessary. Uh, here, let's go in here, take a look at the completed sections of the watermelon wallpaper room. Right from there, let's take a look in here. Now through the double doors into the oak paneled room, and ah yes, okay, this is where there's there's not a, there's not that many mistakes I made in the chateau, but this is one of them. Um, this should be fixed to be. I did have the stairwell extending farther this way in, in a previous version, but it looks like I forgot to update the uh, thing. So let's just um, yeah. let's just fix this how it ought to be. And I think, uh, what, let's have a little uh, live building here, no. All right, so, and then we want to do spruce around the edges and then dark oak down the middle. Or if you could, you, you might want to, you could do that instead. Whichever one you think is best. You can do uh, you can do that way. So done with that. I think um, I, I missed something. Go back, take a look at the stairwell. Back through here. So we've got a couple of stairs right here facing each other into our stairwell, like so. And we can now go on to the next phase which is going to be uh, more floors up here for that. Uh, first exterior though, start right there. We'll take a scan around the exterior walls and the mansard. Couple more car bells here at the back, and of course, yes, that's right. You know what that means? It's another balcony. It's uh, this is this isn't even the last one. There's more to come. The chateau is literally festooned with balconies. Just about every place they could put one, they did. All right, so we've done all the ceiling, so there's nothing to take a look at from below. So we can only look at from above here. And of course, uh, we're putting in a lot of long wooden transverse beams here. And all of the spruce here is going to be the uh, noggin spacers. So just uh, straight tree trunks, oak tree trunks on their sides, and then put in your noggins. And then for the hallway, turn it 90 degrees. 
put in your up beams this way and the noggins that way. Leave a little space here for our stairwell coming up through the floor. And back here we've got more beams and some more noggins. Uh, now, now because I changed the patterning of the stairs here and I added dividing walls down below, uh, we don't we don't actually need uh, iron beams up here at this level. But I think uh, I think I think the chateau originally had them. Like uh, there's there's probably two more iron beams, if I had to guess, that are going to be going along along there, and probably uh, probably along here too. But you can see because I I rerouted the stairs, we would have to chop our iron beam in two, so it's not going to be that useful. Uh, so I just I, I elected to rebuild all this in wood instead. All right. Uh, so over here, uh, this is also the floor. This uh, well, it's this the structural floor and uh, the 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 structure. I mean the structural ceiling slash floor for our attic rooms that we have here, and all of that is um. I think it, it, I mean you're not going to see it, so it can all be full blocks. But I'm pretty sure the, the spruce down the middle here, the spruce planks, are probably uh, noggin half slabs. Uh, but anyway, once you do one of those, the other one is just a mirror image of that. And we will go on to the next phase. Alrighty, so now we've got another upside down cornice of polished andesite here, right along the front. And then cobblestone filler behind that, and then tough here for the uh, the next uh, uh, the next set of three balconies. Yes, that's right. Remember, we, we, remember, we've got three balconies, and then we've got this big turret tower that goes, you know, quite a ways up. Uh, but that's we're not going to get to that today. I think that's going to be in part seven. I think uh, one more part ought to do it. So this is going to be our penultimate part. And uh, detailing here to finish off our fancy our uh, fancy uh, French window frames around our mansard roof. And I want you to do one of those. Actually, uh, the, the, uh, all eight of them are identical to each other. Uh, back here, another upside down cornice. Bit more tough there for our on this level our fourth and I I want to say final balcony uh, but I may be miscounting All right, back here around the front, there's nothing to take a look at from below, so it's only going to be from above. So you can see here we've got uh, the, the stripped uh, oak and spruce floor for our uh, diamond paneled office, you remember? Right there, and then we've got, of course, uh, the cobblestone down the middle where the walls are going to be sitting, the structural walls. And then in between here we've got the hallway that I've, I've, kind, of, uh, I've kind of divided this one off for access between the two attic areas. Although I think in I'm 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 I don't think in the rebuilding of the chateau there's gonna be an attic area and I and I don't know if there was one there originally. But we had space. So I like to put those in because you know uh, attics are fun. And we want to have nice attics we can crawl around in, in our in our chateau and store things in. That's just fun. So I elected to uh, put ceilings on those and do them that way. And here for our uh, final set of rooms, we've got up here, again, don't know how these were originally divided out, so I had to guess. So I made three little small rooms out of them. For, I guess, um, probably staff rooms, I suppose. If you wanted to perhaps give uh, the, 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 the chief butler and the head maid their own rooms, you, you could put them up here. 
These are, these are small enough, although they don't, they don't have dedicated uh, fireplaces in them. Right there. And then we've got the simple structural detailing over here for the attic spaces that I've included right here. Uh, and you remember, I think I said that uh, uh, that these here are optional, just extra optional supports. You don't really have to have them. You can leave all of this open like that, or you can divide it off a bit more like that. If you want to make your attic, you know, just just uh, just a little bit more claustrophobic, you can you can do that. All right, uh, so that's where we came from. We're going to go this way, and let's go on to the next phase. All right. Detailing here for our next balcony. Right there for the, the three balconies adjoining the office. The diamond paneled office up there at the top. And we've got all this uh, delicate, fancy French uh, filigree up here around for the mansard uh, window frames. And once you do one of those, the, the others are just the same as that one. All eight of these are identical to each other. All right, a little half slab detailing here on top of those upside down stairs and then some polished andesite behind that. And then uh, some, uh, some iron framework up here for this balcony. Yes, if you're keeping track, that is the third balcony we've got up here just at the back, not counting the back porch. So if you want to count that as a balcony, since it is kind of raised, that'd be one, two, three. Those would be balcony number four up here at the back for uh, whatever rooms were, were originally behind that. Again, I don't have the original plans for the building, so kind of had to guess on some of these areas, especially these areas here at the top, uh, because when the, when the chateau went up in flames, all of that went with it. And I don't know how it's going to be rebuilt at this point in time, so. Just had to make some educated guesses based on my own building experience. All right, now let's take a look here. Of course, we've got the foundation walls for the turret. I guess, well, they're, they're just continuing walls for the turret. Foundations are all the way down there. Then we've got these little side walls here. These little cutouts back here. Uh, I didn't put any, but I assume this would be a nice place if you wanted to have some, uh, some uh, uh, nice flowers outdoors. Here you could on, on either balcony, or maybe just one if you want to have a little flower garden up here. Some potted plants might be nice. Right there, so let's take a look at this sequence from the top. And here, you remember, we have our secret staircase access that, oh, I broke the door. Uh, but as our secret staircase access is going to wind up this way and that way to take us up to the top of the turret. Here is the hallway behind that, connecting uh, all of our rooms together, really. Right here, the top of the stairwell from the watermelon wallpaper room down below. And uh, these smaller, these three smaller rooms I subdivided here off at the top. It just made sense to do them that way. All right, and then over here, let's take a look now at the detailing for our attic space. Just simple detailing, really. You can see once you put in a couple of half slabs and extend up all of the oak tree trunks, just like that there. And of course, the other attic is just the same. Is that one. 
All right, next phase. A little safety railing here for our balcony and the door behind that. And the safety railing for the side balconies as well. And of course the delicate fancy French work here for the windows. I believe on the on the original chateau, uh, these um, uh, cobblestone walls are actually supposed to be um, uh, pineapples. I think that they're they're, they're like a, they're like a molded a molded sink pineapples. I think. Uh, but uh, you know, my Minecraft, we we don't have pineapples, but you can put uh, those. To, oh well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. We don't have it. We don't have um, pineapples, but we do have have. Wh wh where is it? What's it called? No dragon head. No, it's where is the where is the dragon egg? It's obviously not called an egg because it didn't come up on the search. I don't actually remember what it's called. Well, any, anyway, if for some reason in your world you have lots and lots of dragon eggs, you, you could put those here possibly in place of the uh, uh, cobblestone walls. But, you know, you, you don't have to do it that way. The cobblestone walls look good enough, really. Uh, but once you do one of these window frames, of course, the others are exactly the same. Like that there. And just scan around the roof. Uh, and now we're building the lowest most portions of the mansard for the central section of the chateau here. Uh, not the final roof we're going to be putting on. That's going to be at the top of the turret. Uh, let's see. Around 45 minutes. I think we can we can squeeze in a few more phases today. But then we're going to have to stop, I think. And we'll fit it, all the rest of it into part 7. So here is uh, now the very expensive wallpapering for our office. We've got the Deep Slate Diamond Door. For that, of course, if you like, you know, different, less expensive wallpapering, you can put that in here. But, you know, this is a supposed to be a very special room. So we wanted to use some expensive materials on it. Now, you could even upgrade that to uh, full netherite blocks if for some reason you have, you know, lots of those in your ender chest. For, for like the two people out of you, you know, that are watching this that actually have that in their ender chest, I know the rest of us don't. So. All right, let's take a look at all that from the top down. The detailing for the hallway here, just, just very simple. We're extending up all the oak tree trunks, the strip spruce, and the spruce planks. Right there, and the same sort of detailing for these walls here at the back, where I did the alternating striped uh, uh, patterning for the stripped spruce and the stripped oak. All right, now let's take a look at the de detailing over here inside our attic spaces. And we've got some oak beams, and then here we've got the, the spruce half slabs behind those. On that side. And back here. And once you do one attic, remember the other one is just the same on this side here. All right, let's go on to the next phase. 
Let me take a look. I think we can... I'm not sure where a good stopping point is. We'll have to see. Let's at least do another, another two. All right, let's start here. Scan around the exterior. We're done with these railings. So we just got to put in the walls. Right back here. And then the detailing for the mansard here. And for the pinnacles up here, we've got the, um, these, uh, 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 just individual uh, iron rails. Our iron bars right there. Right there for that. I don't know, I don't think you can put those on top of the dragon eggs. I don't know. You might can, they'll probably float if you put something down first. If you decide to do the detailing that way. But I mean, you would need, uh, what? You need like 16 dragon eggs. That's, you know, so, I mean, somebody out there has that, but most of us don't. We'll have to go with the more low budget cobblestone options. But you can do that if you want your, your, your French chateau to be especially fancy. Right here, and you can see we've got some cobblestone half slabs and everything connecting all of those together. And then the next section of the mansard behind that with the deep slate tiles. Right here along the back. And now inside of our very expensive uh, paneled office, got some sconces here and there in the room. And then behind that, you remember we've got our hidden staircase right here. And then behind that, we've got uh, one of the rooms that would originally held uh, one of the two big water tanks at the top of the chateau. I don't think they'll be used for that again, but they're really just uh, uh, little uh, access rooms off to the side here. A little detailing there in front of that window. And, of course, the same thing in front of this one, in case you missed that on the last phase. Here's the detailing down the hallway. And we do have upside-down stairs. Either side of the double doors. And detailing here for the top of the stairwell. And for all these side rooms, just uh, take the spruce and the stripped oak and extend them all up. Except here for these little, uh, these little smaller mansard uh, uh, windows we're going to have at this, uh, this roof section. Another one there. Uh, now let's take a look inside here. Well, first let's take a top down. And then let's land and look at it from below. Lots of spruce, uh, full blocks and half slabs here. For the structural support for the roof. Right there, and of course uh, the other one down here is exactly the same as uh, that one. Let's take a look at this phase. Actually, let's take a look at... That looks like a good stopping point over there. Uh, so we're going to do this phase and then that one, and then that'll be good enough for today. That'll be, uh, that'll be a little over an hour, I think. And then we'll finish the chateau in part seven next time. Here, a bit more glass for our big window in our office. 
our, our uh, private, expansive, uh, expensively paneled French office. Detailing here for these little arches over these doors. For this little window back here. Curi these uh, curious little windows back there. I don't know that anybody ever be looking out of those, but... Uh, some, uh, just a couple of blocks here detailing for the, uh, the dormers in the mansard roof. And here we've, of course, got, uh, ha uh, half slabs right on top there for just some, uh, just some, uh, uh fancy detailing up top. Let's get a closer look here at the central section. Uh, so this is how mansard roofs work. They go up about uh, three or four blocks at a time, and then they stop, and then you start half slabbing the entire thing over. With a half slab, a full block, and a half slab, and a full block, and so on and so forth, until you get all the way to the top. Right here, and let's go ahead and drop down and take a look at the detailing for the inside of the roof underneath here just more spruce like so and then uh, back behind let's go back over to the office and start inside there Couple more end rods there for our sconces. Detailing here for our uh, uh, turret access staircase. Hidden back in there. I don't have a clue where this was originally in the chateau, because I mean th there are windows on the top of the the, the tower mansard. So I I'm assuming they they had to get up there somehow. So uh, I wanted to be able to crawl up there. So I added this little staircase here if you recall. All right, so the simple detailing for the two utility rooms on either side of the hallway here. And the same sort of detailing for these rooms here at the back. That's just all being extended straight up. Alright, so let's tackle our final phase for today. Detailing here for this smaller archway here at to, to getting to the top of the tower. Well, you know, the, the top before we put on the roof anyway, it, it goes up for quite a ways after that. Right here. Uh, you remember this is uh, our chimneys coming into view right here. One of four chimneys in the in the chateau for all those fireplaces we had below. And there, our roof just uh, yeah, our roof hangs over that a little bit. Um, and here, of course, just uh, one more uh, cobblestone wall there. And I think, if memory serves, there's going to be um, another. Um, iron bar on top of that. We want to go ahead and, and install those. So here you can see for the deep slate tiles, uh, full blocks and half slabs, every other block. Right here, and uh, we're just, uh, we'll, we'll take a look at the um, the attic from below here. So you can see we're just capping that off, really. And that's going to be finishing your attics in this episode as well. Just like, uh, just like that. And then in here for the smaller utility rooms, we just, just got the upside down oak stairs right there. And then right back in here for those rooms. 
And uh, where did we already took a look at it in here, didn't we? Uh, I don't remember. Let's make sure that we do, though. Uh, and here we have our stairs uh, come to a very awkward landing and then turn and go up this way. Just like so. And here for our hallway, I think um, just take an entire sequence of that top down. And then let's land in the office. Take a look at the, the, at the now completed hallway here with the upside down spruce stairs. Right here, turning that way, right over our staircase from the uh, watermelon wallpaper room. And then down here, we've got the simple detailing for this little room here. There's some trap doors there in the middle, just to be different. That could be spruce uh, dark oak half slabs if you wanted. And these little side rooms over here, same sort of detailing. Dark oak half, uh, upside down stairs along the walls, except for this little window here where there are half, uh, two half slabs. And the other larger room over here has just the same sort of detailing inside of it. Uh, let's see. All right, so I think that that is going to be uh, just as much as we can get through today, quite a lot. Uh, but as you can see here, we still have the entire turret to build and everything. So that's going to be the entirety of part seven. And uh, we will be finishing uh, the French Chateau at that point. So I want to thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.